All right, quick little demo here of the uh, laser. I have uh, rigged the laser up in the vertical mill here, and I've set my travel stop on the top to exactly five inches. So I put the calibration into the M800. I've got the laptop hooked to it live, so we can have a look. So once again, the laser's hooked to the chuck. Uh, I have the travel set here to five inches. Uh, M800 is connected to the sensor. Laptop hooked to the M800, and we're actually watching this value right here. So with the, with the stock calibration from 1.2 to 51 inches, half to four and a half volts, uh, we're gonna move the lever here. We get a five inch movement there, and we are indicating a five inch movement here. Keeping in mind that the resolution on the sensor will only let us see about every 50,000, so it's not gonna come up dead nuts but it is indicating a proper five inch movement. Now the trick is that the actual distance or the accuracy of the sensor at this point uh, is indicating, what is it? It's nine inches, but it's actually 10 inches between the sensor and the vise. And so that, that's because of the offset in the sensor. Uh, if you want precision as far as the, the actual uh, measurement, you want it to match what it really is if you measured it with a tape, then what you would do is measure from the ground to where the sensor is installed and then offset your calibration by that height so that it, it can relay to you the actual distance off the ground. So one way I could offset this with the calibration in the M800 is just go to sensor setup and input setup. And I got it defined as a user and it's AV3. Go to the table and let's make all of these bigger by one inch since it's off by one inch. So that'd be 2.2 and 52 inches at four and a half. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Let the ECU reset. All right, and so now it's, it's offset the reported distance by one inch. Now it reads 10 inches at that point, which it happens to be because I set it up that way in the mill. So now we'll move it that five inch uh, distance with the top of the mill, there's the stop. And now we're reading five inches instead of four inches, but we have a accuracy on the actual distance it's moved. Um, and now we have it matching as far as uh, accuracy, of the actual height that it's measuring. So now we can see we end up with five inches. If I go back to all the way up, we're at 10 inches, so the precision is there. It's showing a five inch change. And now because we fixed the offset, it's giving us an accurate distance measurement as well. Okay, someone asked if the thing will read on dirt. So I got a little pan of dirt here uh, under the laser and there's the readout. So it is reading, so I will move it through the same five inch stroke. can't quite reach it, but that's pretty close. It's a five inch distance here on the mill. Boom. 10 inch. So it reads dirt. All right, so I had somebody ask if it would read liquid. So I went and located some liquid here in the shop. That is beer, not piss. And we're reading uh, seven inch and it was 10 inch without that in there. So let's just see what happens if we lower this down a bit. It's probably gonna start picking up the cup. So about as far as we can get it in there. Reads two, so two. Did I get to five? Yeah, that's five. The cup's trying to tip, but that's five inches of travel. So 209. Uh, back to seven, so that's five inches. So it reads beer. One of the cool things about this thing is it's just so light. I mean, you just feel it in your hand and it, oh, fuck. Well, there it is after the accidental drop test. Still reading. So that's good. One of the tests we were doing earlier was checking to see if it would pick up over liquid. So we actually stuck it inside this cup with beer in it, and we were lowering it down with the milk. Oh, fuck. Well, like a Timex, takes a lick in and keeps on 
ticket. Still works after the accidental submergent beer test. All right, so we're gonna hook the laser up real quick and give it a quick test. So just hook up five volts here and zero volt and signal should be here. And uh, no, that's, oh shit, I've got the wires backwards. Okay, let's just hook up five volts here and zero volt here. And no, that's not it either. Okay, so let's hook up, uh, here we'll hook up a signal to this one. We'll hook up five volts to this one. And we'll hook up zero volts to this one. No, that's not it. No. Oh, uh, that's right. I remember now green is signal. So let's hook up zero volts here and signal to the signal wire. Hey, now we got it.